Hello, good evening. A total of six people have been hurt, five of them children, after a serious collision involving a school bus and a car in Cornwall. A woman and a young boy who were travelling in the car suffered life-threatening injuries. The crash in Mullion this morning closed the road for most of the day. David Dixon reports. Now, large numbers of second homes are widely blamed for worsening the affordable housing crisis in the region. The last government gave local authorities the power to double council tax on holiday homes. But there's anger in Devon, where the county council won't commit the proceeds to affordable housing. Here's Mars Davis. New research from the BBC has found Cornwall Council had to save the sixth highest amount of money in the country this year out of 200 councils surveyed. Despicable and unforgivable, that's how the founder of an otter charity in Devon has described two cubs being left in a crate on the side what? of a road. Dave Webb says the baby otters will be rehabilitated before being released back into the wild. Andrew Ormsby has the story. Lucky things. OK, this is a nice treat for you. A giant replica of the moon has been lit up in Bridgewater. Crikey. OK, we've had some lovely warm sunshine today. Let's check the forecast with David. Thanks very much, David, and thank you for joining us. It's been lovely to have your company. Anna's here with the breakfast news for you in the morning. Bye-bye.